Hey guys, what's up? So we have a new update on Advanced Server and it's patch 1.7.04. First on our list is Mage Axborg. His first skill and ultimate can now scale with magic power stats. This means he can now use magic items and it will increase the damage of his skills. Ice Queen Wand with its slow effect is going to be a core item for this guy. Or maybe you can use Glowing Wand for that burning effect. They also added a new feature on his passive where he no longer stops when restoring his armor. As you can see, he can move continuously when his Firaga armor gets a full charge. Are we going to see another jungle Axborg after this update? Next is the nerf on Karina. The developer said she's effortlessly slicing her way to victory so they had to lower her early game damage. First skill get minus 30 points of damage while her ultimate is minus 100 in the early levels. Next is the nerf on Tamus. The developer said he's too strong in the early game so they lower his first skill base damage. That's minus 30 points on all levels. And I think they also nerfed his voice. If you listen closely, the volume is lower than usual. Next is the nerf on Sicilian. According to the developers, for a late game mage, his damage is quite good in the early game so they'll nerf his first skill. He gets minus 20 points of damage on all levels. Next is the bug fix on one one's mark. You can now remove it if you use Purify just like this. But that's not all. Hero skills that are similar to Purify can also work. Digi's ultimate can be used to remove her marks. Another example is Akai's ultimate. Now you finally have a chance to stop her from completing the marks. Next is Vexana. The developers said they are addressing her ultimate's inability to inherit Vexana's attributes. But I tested some items like Glowing Wand and Wind Talker and it's still not working with the knight. They didn't clearly say what changes were made but if we compare the stats, we can see that the knight's damage is lower on advanced server. I guess it's the cause of the new feature where she can summon the knight to her side. Next is another buff for Martis. Higher damage on the first 3 attacks of his second skill. Last last week, they added 20% attack scaling and now more base damage. I'm smelling a new skin for this guy. Next is the buff on Badang. The developers think his last buff was not enough so now he gets more shield on his second skill. Edit gets another adjustment on her first skill. They shorten its cooldown by half a second. This is the third week of adjusting. Can't make up your mind, huh? Next is Natalia. They remove the feature where she can always trigger her passive when the target is under her smoke bomb. In exchange, they've returned the damage of her passive skill which is similar to official server. So some damage is slightly returning to the new Natalia. Next are more adjustments on the new hero, Fredrin. These are mostly nerfs on his damage and his durability. Still no voice though. Last one is the revamp for Cho's hip hop skin. Looking good, right? Unfortunately, it's not yet available. Only the art is updated. So what can you say about the update? Do you agree with the changes on One One Smart? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.